Today we will be executing the proper form of the Marine Corps PFT pull-ups and Marine Corps PFT sit-ups. First the proctor will say, mount the bar and come to a complete dead hang. Your arms will be locked out. You will be facing your hands either inboard or outboard. At no time will you alternate your hands. When the proctor says begin, you may begin your pull-ups by going all the way up for your chin to pass the bar and all the way back down to a lockout position where your arms are straight. At no time will you kip your feet or legs to generate momentum. At no time will you bicycle your feet or thrust your hips forward. During your pull-ups, your knees should always stay below your waist. If at any time you do not lock your arms all the way out, or do not go all the way up on your pull-up, the instructor will say, does not count. Next is the Marine Corps sit-up. Your hips and shoulder blades will be firmly against the deck. Your hands will be crossed. Your forearms will be up against your ribs, and you'll be holding onto your biceps. Your partner will sit on your feet, holding the underside of your calves. When the instructor says begin, you will go all the way up for your forearms to touch the midpoint of your thigh, and all the way back down for your shoulder blades to touch the deck. At no time will you remove your forearms from your ribs, and at no time will you lift your hips up off the deck. If at any time you do not complete a full crunch by either not going all the way up or not going all the way down, your partner will say, does not count. After conducting the pull-up portion and the sit-up portion of the PFT, you will conduct a timed three-mile run. This has been how to properly conduct the Marine Corps PFT. Thanks for watching.